Hey Defenders, welcome back. So in the latest release of Copilot, we're happy to bring to you guys the incorporation of Wazoo's detection rules directly into Copilot. So as we continue to make Copilot still the one-stop shop for our seam stack, with this latest feature, we now have our Wazoo detection rules now brought directly into Copilot. And I can also manage my detection rules directly from Copilot as well. We also have the ability to search on rules. So let's say, for example, I want to add a new exclusion rule into my seam stack. I can directly access my exclusion rules file. I'll come down to the bottom and I'll just do a test for this demonstration. When it comes to my, this isn't a video that is necessarily goes into the details of writing Wazoo rules. But one basic change that I would need to make, of course, is incrementing my rule ID. And I'm going to change my field value to just be rule test. And then my description I'll also just change to rule test. Again, not a video structured around going into the whereabouts of how to write Wazoo detection rules. If that is a video that majority of you guys would be interested in, then please do leave a comment below. I have no idea how much of a need there is for that within the community. But if a video going into how my approach, at least into how I write Wazoo rules would be of interest to you guys, then then do do let me know. I'd be more than happy to to frame a video around that topic. But once I have my rule added here, I will need to save it. So to do that, I will go ahead and select upload. And what Copilot is going to do is the appropriate API request to actually upload and save this file on the Wazoo Manager. So still, at the end of the day, our rules all reside within the Wazoo Manager. Copilot's just pulling those rules via the API into Copilot. And once those rules are saved, we also need to, just like when we modify rules directly within Wazoo itself, we also need to restart Wazoo. So I can select this restart Wazoo button here, which will also restart my Wazoo manager service and reload in the rules. So after you do make your addition or modification to your rule file, you will need to first upload so that the file is saved, and then you will need to restart the Wazoo manager. So as we continue to target making Copilot the one-stop shop when it comes to our open source seam stack, uh, bringing in our detection rules helps us get one step closer. In the future, I'm looking to also bring in the agent group configs as well. So being able to manage those within a similar matter. But in the next videos coming up, I'll be excited to introduce Copilot's AI assistant. So do stay tuned for that one. And if you haven't checked out our Wazoo MCP server and our Velociraptor MCP server, I definitely recommend you guys checking that out if you want to see how you can leverage large language models to be able to interact with your Wazoo or your Velociraptor server. But in the future, we will be bringing these directly into Copilot. So do stay tuned. For that but that's going to wrap it up for today's video again if you guys would find a video of diving in more into my approach into how i go about writing exclusion rules do please let me know in the comment below and i'll be happy to add it on the uh ever-growing list of of video ideas so uh that's gonna wrap it up for today i appreciate your time and i will see you in the next one